Hey guys, Marco here from Aviero Live CS. Welcome back to my channel. Today we will keep talking about landing gear. And this is part two of this series of videos. Today we will be talking about landing gear operation and we are going to mention retraction, extension and manual extension. And also we will be reviewing the nose wheel steering system. Landing gear are normally controlled by the landing gear lever, which you can see here. On the ground, a landing gear lever lock prevents the landing gear lever from moving to the up position. An override trigger in the lever may be used to bypass the landing gear lever lock, so you can see it here. In flight, the air ground system energizes a solenoid, which opens the lever lock. So let's review the landing gear retraction. Hydraulic system A retracts the landing gear when the landing gear is up and locked, the red indicator light is extinguished. When the landing gear lever is moved to up, the landing gear begins to retract. During retraction, the brakes automatically stop rotation of the main gear wheels. After retraction, the main gear are held in place by mechanical uplocks. The nose wheels retract forward into the wheel well and nose wheel rotation is stopped by snobbers. I will show you a picture of the snobbers just in a, a few seconds here. The nose gear is held in place by an over-centered lock and enclosed by doors which are mechanically linked to the gear. Hydraulic pressure is removed from the landing gear system when the landing gear lever is in the off position. So here I want to show you a video I found on the internet and thank you to Eli Cohen for allowing me to use his video in this presentation. So basically here we can see the retraction and the extension of the gear. Uh, this one starts actually with the extension, not with the retraction, but we can see both. So let me show you the video. So here you can see the extension of the landing gear. That's uh, the extension. And then we can see the retraction. There it goes. And we can see how the gear goes into the wheel well clearly. There is on the up position. And now here we can see the extension of the nose landing gear. Okay, good. Here you have a picture of the snobbers that they are located in the nose or wheel well. If a main landing gear tire is damaged during takeoff, it is possible that braking of the main gear wheels during retraction may be affected. A spinning tire with a loose tread must be stopped prior to entering the wheel well, or it can cause damage to the wheel well components. When a spinning tire with loose tread impacts a fitting in the wheel well ring opening, the gear stops retracting and free falls back to the down position. The affected gear cannot be retracted until the fitting is replaced. Now, something very important to know is about the landing gear transfer unit. Hydraulic system B pressure is available for raising the landing gear through the landing gear transfer unit. Hydraulic system B supplies the volume of hydraulic fluid required to raise the landing gear at the normal rate when all of the following conditions exist. So pay attention to this one. The airplane is airborne. Number one engine RPM drops below a limit value. Landing gear lever is positioned up. Either main landing gear is not up and locked. Now we'll review landing gear extension. When the landing gear lever is moved to down, hydraulic system A pressure is used to release the uplocks. The landing gear extends by hydraulic pressure, gravity, and air loads. Over center mechanical and hydraulic locks hold the gear at full extension. The nose wheel doors remain open when the gear is down. So here we have the video again. And uh, we will only watch the part of the extension. You can see it here.
and we have it extended, you can see the doors remain open. All right. Now landing gear manual extension. If hydraulic system A pressure is lost, the manual extension system provides another means of landing gear extension. Manual gear releases on the flight deck are used to release up locks that allow the gear to free fall to the down and lock position. The forces that pull the gear down are gravity and air loads. So here you can see the manual gear releases and uh, the door is open here. When the manual extension access door is open, manual landing gear extension is possible with the landing gear lever in any position. Normal landing gear extension is possible if hydraulic system A pressure is available, landing gear retraction is disabled. Following a manual extension, the landing gear may be retracted normally by accomplishing the following steps. Close the manual extension, close the manual extension access door, move the landing gear lever to down with hydraulic system A pressure available, and then position the landing gear lever to up. Now let's talk about the nose wheel steering. The rotor pedals turn the nose wheels a maximum of seven degrees for use during taxi, takeoff and landing. You use the rotor pedals to make a small changes in direction. The nose steering wheel turns the nose wheels a maximum of 78 degrees. Hydraulic system A powers the nose wheel steering. Nose wheel steering is available when the nose gear is in the down position and compressed by weight of the airplane. Now let's watch this video here. We can see how we use this nose wheel steering. And then back to the center there. Alternate nose wheel steering can be activated to provide system B pressure to the nose wheels when the nose wheel steering switch is placed to alternate. Normal quantity is in the system B reservoir and the airplane is on the ground. So if we watch this video here, we can see how we operate this switch. Guard is open, we select alternate. If we want to go back to normal, we just close the guard. In the event of a hydraulic leak downstream of the landing gear transfer unit, resulting in a loss of hydraulic system B fluid in the reservoir, a sensor closes the landing gear transfer valve and alternate steering will be lost. A pointer on the nose steering wheel assembly shows nose wheel steering position relative to the neutral setting. So as you can see in this video, Here's the center position, here's left, and here's the right position, and back to center. Rotor pedal steering is deactivated as the no gear strut extends. So guys, that is it for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do it now. And if you think these videos could be useful for somebody else, please share them. And that's going to help me a lot to grow the channel. In our next video, we will keep talking about the landing gear system. Until then, guys, please take care and hope to see you soon.